Spy Nazi right here. 8103. Going through the top of this wedge here. A couple of highs at 01. Should sneak through 13 maybe during this video if all things go well. A um, couple reasons. Got the fix today. Global equity flows. They should be buying a little bit of Aussie based on uh, how Australian stocks have done this month and US stocks. Um, and then just technicals here and just the general dollar sentiment of uh, negativity. So check out the Aussie here. Looks like it's just accumulate around the figure for a move to 36 at the end of the day, maybe up to 50 if we make new highs. Dollar CAD uh, through the lows did not work this morning. It's been a bit choppy, but it hasn't been back above 124 the figure. Uh, will we visit 12063 this week? I don't know, but we have CAD GDP today. Everything that I've read is they're expecting a bit of a boomer there. Um, so, core short dollar CAD, if you get a good average, you might even go into that number short dollar CAD uh, for those intrepid uh, foreign exchange traders. Same deal with the fix, we should be selling dollar CAD today. So, you may decide you have some reasons to be short dollar CAD and, and the risk even going into that number short is outweighs going in flat. What else is there? Euro, we printed a high of 64. We scratched our attempts to buy up through 54. Didn't work. Went back down to 36. Here we are at 50, basically doing nothing. Tons of option expertise today. 1.8 yards at 50. 3.6 yards at 125 the figure and then around two yards at 124 the figure. So one thing we can say with clarity is Euro dollar is not going to really do anything. Well it will be between 124 and 125 uh, for the next three hours. Doesn't really help anyone anywhere but a lot of gravitational pull from these options. What else is there? Dollar yen not too much. We had a little blip higher this morning when Kuroda uh, basically tried to talk down, talk down the end side of things. Got up to 20, uh, which is the same high as yesterday. Now a bit of a technical point. I do not foresee us getting up there today. So keep your eyes peeled on the downside of the dollar, at least until the fix. After the fix, uh, Lord knows. We got FMC tonight. Imagine if the fix is very bearish dollars, and imagine if the FOMC is very bullish. I want to have that scenario tucked away. Tucked away as a little feather in your cap. What else? Let's just take a quick look at Bitcoin. We're back down in the accumulation area. Stick some bids down here, 9,500, 8,500, 7,500. Ethereum is not going down as hard. Same type deal. Chuck some bids in at 910, 810, 710. Um, and then equities, quiet. But you see those two reds? I'm not sure why. Uh, I don't see any reason why we don't have another red today. Um, but if you're square, the sell zone is between 40 and 55, saying we're not going to make a new daily high today. Selling through the lows at this juncture does not make a whole heck of a lot of sense, so don't, don't go chasing this thing uh, into never, never real. Anyway, cool, uh, short dollar CAD, long Aussie, and... Still core short stocks. This is what we have um, in the short term book today. Good luck out there. Talk to you soon.